So what's your name? I'm Connor Martin. Cody Egan. Okay, what grade are you guys in? 12. 12. Uh, have you ever experienced any form of bullying throughout your time in high school? Well, I'm a ginger, so I get bullied a lot. Like, every day. Um, not really. Just friends poking fun at friends. And how do you feel when these things happen? It sucks, because it's not my fault I have red hair. And just because I'm better looking than everyone doesn't mean they can pick fun at my disabilities, which would be my hair color. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, I don't know. Him being my best friend, I know how to make fun of him without him feeling bad about himself. And I always say I'm sorry, but like everyone else who pokes fun at him on purpose, and like, I don't know, kind of want to stand up for the guy because. But it's not even really bullying. It's just like things that yeah. you just poke at and eventually it makes you feel like shit. Yeah. Right? It's like calling like one of your bigger friends chubby. And like you're like, ah, oh, you're chubby, you're a little comfy teddy bear, we like you. But really it's like, ow. Yeah. It fucking hurt. Well, like, Wait, am I allowed to swear? I did anyway. <laughs> doesn't matter. Well like uh, when say you're not as skilled at someone at a particular subject, they always they always seem to like say, oh, why didn't you do this? Maybe yeah. I'm not as smart as you, so I can't comprehend what you can. Or even in gym. Yeah. It's annoying when you like, I suck at hockey. I'm in floor hockey. And I'm really bad at it. And there's people that play AAA, and they're like ripping on you like, man, you suck. It's not my fault that I don't play hockey and I have a life. I'm good at every sport. So. <laughs> He's good at everything. Everything. How does bullying between genders differ? Um, girls are a lot more vicious. And... Um, with guys, it's basically you beef, you fight, you're good. Yeah. That's how it goes. You try and stay away from each other, and you're but you're civil. Girls, it will last so long, and they're so vicious, and they just make people cry yeah. and lock people in bathrooms and yell at them and shit like that. A lot of the times, it's over stupid stuff too. Like yeah. one person will say something, but you won't even say it. Then just like a whole group of girls will attack her, that one girl. Yeah, with guys, it's always more cement. Yeah, it's all like concrete It's like one-on-one. On one. Right? So, if someone has sex with someone's girlfriend, that's a great reason to start beef. Girls are like, she said I had ugly shoes, if I'm gonna slap that bitch. <laughs> right? No, you can't do that. Like, it's terrible. In your opinion, where does bully, bullying mostly occur? School or the internet? Pretty much. I'd say uh, more on like Facebook and Twitter and stuff because it's where these kids who think they're better than everyone else have the like the strength to tell off all these kids where they can't see their face. Yeah, and yeah, are exactly. In front exactly. Of them. Like Twitter, it's you're it's sitting at home behind a computer screen and yeah. no one can touch you. You can rip and rip and rip on anyone as much as you want. There's nothing they can really do about it. Yeah. Right. Um, Facebook, the same thing, but. The other, it usually happens behind people's backs at school too. Mm -hmm. Like you'll walk by something, you'll see a group of people and they're like, hey, he's fat. And just shit like that. It's terrible. Being a senior in high school, do you see that one grade uh, bullies more than the others? It's, I feel like a lot of it's really equal. Mm -hmm. um, grade 12, we're obviously not the blood end of it anymore, but we obviously dish it out more. Yeah. Um, um. I said, like, our school is becoming more, like, there are all these, all this drama, but, like, our grade, we're all, like, we're all friends, yeah. we're all civil with each other, you don't see us trying to beat the crap out of each other or anything like that, mm -hmm. like, lower grades, I think it's more, like, groups. Yeah, the, but, clay, yeah. the lower you go in the grades, the more cliques are evident. Yeah, like, oh, I don't like that group because they hang out with this person, yeah. I don't like that girl because she's dating that guy and yeah, stuff exactly. like that. So, I'd say it's, like, the younger... The younger you go, the more clicks are evident, so that's where it shows a lot more. Yeah. So in your opinion, um, who is more likely to bully and who's more likely to be bullied? Well, obviously the older you are, the more likely you're going to bully someone. Just because you, have, you can overpower them and you have a higher social status in high school. Like, a grade 9 isn't going to walk up to Cody or I or anyone in grade 12 and start beeping them. And saying, like, you're fat and you smell and shit like that. Um, but we can walk by a little grade nine and bark at them and scare the shit out of them, and they run away, and we think it's hilarious. Yeah. So we're our grades more likely to dish it out. Younger grades are more likely to accept it. Yeah, to get hit with it. And like, 
like he said, they're not going to do anything, so there's yeah. no repercussions, and it's not like they're going to tell the teacher or anything, right? Yeah. So we can we can make fun of these grade nines. Most of them know we're joking, but for the ones that don't, they're yeah. not going to tell someone. They just keep it in yeah. inside. And like a grade, a little grade nine that looks like they're in grade seven, or right, isn't going to go up to Cody who has facial hair, that's really intimidating for little kids, right? And say <laughs> something. They're just going to take it and walk away. As a bystander, what's your response when you witness bullying occur? It all depends. It all depends who's doing it and who's receiving it. Like, if Cody, Cody and I mess with kids all the time. I'm not saying we're bullies, but we'll obviously poke fun at people. We tell them we're joking afterwards yeah. and, like, we made this all the Yeah, after. like, the other day, there's this kid that I know, and I took his face and I told him to lick the window. <laughs> and I held it up to his face up to the window. And then after, I was like, man, I'm just kidding, whatever. And I got, got him a Red Bull just because he's my friend. But I was just picking on him for fun. It's like a lot of the times it's a little, it's like a sibling situation yeah. where a big brother will pick on a little brother and it doesn't really get too vulgar or vicious. Um, but then there's some times where you see people that are just getting ripped to shreds and you, know, you can't stand for that. You gotta stop it right away. Yeah. So if you saw some of your friends getting physical with a bunch of grade nines, yeah, if they were pushing them stuff and hitting them and stuff, sure, like, you yeah. can't do that. But if they're messing around with them and they're scaring them yeah. or whatever. What if they're just saying some mean things? It depends. Obviously, you got to take what context it is. If like it's why, what's going on, and why is it happening. If I'm not saying no one deserves to like be made fun of, but yeah. if they started it was like saying all these chirps and tried to like go at these grade 12s, and these grade 12s didn't do anything, I guess if... They like if it was something that on calm ground they deserve to chirp back, then maybe a bit, but nothing physical or anything. It's all situational. Yeah. Because it can be grade nines that say we're good friends with their older siblings, mm -hmm. and then we pick on them whenever we see them yeah. or whatever. That's different. If it's just these, th say it's three little kids that you've never even really spoke to, and just out of complete anger, you just start yelling at them and ripping on them for mm -hmm. the stupidest things. Then that's you can't do that. But if it's one of our friends' little brothers and we're picking him up and we're wheeling him around or whatever, throwing him around, then it's not as bad as it could be. It's a lot uh, worse with girls because girls, like, they don't, like, grade 12 girls right away, once grade nines enter the school, they're just like, no, we don't, don't, don't like them. them. Don't like them. We don't like them. Don't like grade nines. But they don't even, like, these girls could be the nicest girls they've yeah, ever exactly. met, but they wouldn't know because they're just because they're young. Like them. Just because they got confused where to go in the school or yeah. they stand in the, in middle, the middle of the because they haven't been here long enough to know that people don't like that stuff. See, it's such a double standard because yeah. our friends can will literally stand in the middle of the hallway to try and make it difficult for people to walk by as a joke. And everyone's like, ha, 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 grade nine does it? Yeah. Cool. It's, Might uh, as well punch someone in the face. Yeah, Game over. Good. Can't do that. Do you think that Banting's anti-bullying rules are effective? Um, it all depends. Like I, everything goes back to being situational yeah. and in the context it is, right? If I go up and call Nick fat, right? I'm sure he's not going to go cry and tell the principal. If you go up to someone who has an actual weight problem and call them fat and make and belittle them because of that, then something will be done. But it's not that our anti-bullying rules aren't effective. It's just that the little things go unnoticed. Yeah, they the big things don't. The, play. the yeah. big things that get around will will get dealt dealt with, but the little things won't. Do you feel as though that you can approach an adult, such as a teacher or a guidance counselor, to discuss topics such as bullying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, that's probably banting is best for is just yeah. the teachers you can talk they're to. They're understanding and yeah. like if you go to them with problems, they'll help you figure it out. Yeah. And like about anything also, like school wise, they don't even have to be your teacher. You may just have them in the past or something and they'll all try exactly. to help you the help you out the best they can. Like an example, Miss Doney. She was yeah. my grade nine soccer coach. She was an assistant coach. I can go for her with anything. I've yeah. never had her for any class or anything, but it's just the relationship between students and faculty and banting is so well done. Like as much stuff that's said about some teachers, if if they're there for you, then that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if anyone says that you shouldn't go to someone. Mm -hmm. And what impact does technology have on bullying? It just makes it go so much faster. Huge. It's it spreads like wildfire. Yeah, it's a huge impact because one person could be like, I don't like her. I'm gonna start this rumor. Yeah. Put it on. Tell someone on Facebook that person Facebooks another person Twitter's another person and, and just once once it hits Twitter school, yeah boom just goes game over goes because someone's gonna make a un unanimous 
uh, tweet about it and people are going to be like, oh, so this and is what's about happening. this and like yeah. what's going on and then people are going to start asking that and it's just, it's just crazy. It, it sucks because high school is like, it's just a rumor will just invest yeah. everything. And then it gets the, like say so-and-so said like they're dating a person and so-and-so said they hooked up with another girl or something. That all these people are coming here and telling her, it makes it hard for her to believe this one guy who's like, no, exactly. I didn't do it. It's exactly. it's retarded because it's affecting all these people that haven't done anything. Yeah. And it's the drama. It just it sucks so bad because mm -hmm. things that have happened in the past, I've got texts from people from Shelburne asking me about it. Like, why does anyone in Shelburne give a shit about what goes on here? Yeah, and like and just uh, without Twitter, without Facebook, without text messaging. Everything would be so much more contained and yeah. easier to deal with. There's uh, like all the drama that's happened these past couple of days. Uh, uh, apparently, Chance Thing came to school today, or whatever, told us that uh, in like in Barry at Georgia, and they're talking about all this drama yeah. that's happening. People from Queens yeah. know about it. It's why are you in, like, like who gives a shit? It's becoming like a lot worse. And um, without yeah. text messaging yeah. or Facebook or Twitter, this would not happen. Everything could be so avoided so much easier. Yeah. So should internet use at Banting be more heavily monitored and should social networking sites just be completely blocked out? Well what happens is no one goes on Facebook and Twitter to beef at school. No one does that. Yeah, when yeah. they get home and they're safe yeah, in yeah. their rooms drinking hot chocolate, they decide to rip off. Yeah, you do it at home because at school there's that, always that opportunity that person's going to walk into a class yeah, or walk and punch you square in the face. <laughs> like you never know, so the yeah. safe option is to do it at home. And yeah. Stupid. And finally, being a, being a senior in high school, would you like to see the change in the amount of bullying that occurs? Well, obviously, bullying is not a good thing. No one wants a lot of bullying to happen. But you, it's high school and bullying is going to happen. If the severity could be cut down and the amount, that would yeah. obviously be a positive thing. But bullying... Like I've said a hundred times in this thing, it's situational, it's all in the context. Cody and I are best friends. We've been best friends since grade four. We bully each other all the time. Yeah. All the time. That's we're, We don't go and hug each other and hold hands and stuff and skip like best friends do. Okay, We rip on each other. That's what, that's what we do. We're men. Yeah, we're men. We're men. That's what we do. Yeah, we read Sports Illustrated. We make fun of each other and make, make our own beef jerky. jerky. Okay, that's what we do. Right? That's true. That's good. And that's it. That's all I have to say. Yep. Is that a wrap? Yeah.